Okay, I want to show you the traffic system I've been working on. Um, essentially, it's this road piece system which links to, but each one of these needs to be linked correctly or else the cars will stop driving on it. Uh, okay, so you see this one? I need to delete that. Let's go back to here um, and go to anchor. So, this is a two lane system, it's going from four lanes to two, two lanes. So, if we go to two lanes and add a straight, a two lane straight. Right, and now we have got to change the attachment point to that one and rotate it. And hit the attachment points again. So, these four lanes of traffic will be combining into one here. And then press save and do the next bit, uh, lane two, straight. Same system again, just hit that and then hit that and then hit that. Save and two lanes straight. But then again, we can do a, a straight bit here where all the traffic combines and then branch it out into four again and then have intersections where the cars pull up and then branch back out or back in. That's the plan anyway. I'm after importing the the car controller. Uh, I haven't set up any of the meshes or anything yet, so it's just the default one. Hang on, let me pull this over here. Where the hell is my game window gone? Windows game. Where is it? Oh, here it is. So I'm after giving the cars mass, so that red box there is the only spawner I've set up so far. So the cars have colliders, and when you hit them, they have enough mass to push you around the place and slow you down. It's a weird thing where they disappear if they go off node too much, I think. But they have enough power to stop you and to slow you down. So they should be able to push around the, the car we have. Okay, so that's the system I think about implementing what you... Let me know what you think.